Hey guys, this is Coach Nate from Goal Robber. Um, figured I would just talk a, a little bit at the start of the season here about some really important practices that we want to get into as coaches to help our goalies develop the best this season. First thing I want to talk about is pegging the net. All right, sometimes we don't have access to the regular crease. We have to pull it over for small area games or cross sites, whatever the case is. But rule number one is we want to make sure to peg the net. Now, these are some uh, anchor pegs. Um, there's a, a variety of these out there on the market, but they're a little bit better than your traditional um, old school metal peg. But even if you just have the metal pegs, some peg is better than no peg at all. All right, so move that net. Again, first step, make sure we're pegging that down. So it's nice and solid. If you have some sort of a product that protects the pegs, um, these are uh, Protex. Um, you can slide those on. Again, not necessary. If you don't have any, not a big deal. But if you do, I recommend that you use those as well. You might be asking, what, what's the big deal about having these nets pegged? Okay. Well, number one is obviously it keeps the net from moving. So we don't have to worry about the net sliding around, goalies losing their place on the ice. Okay. But what's probably as or more important in this coaches is that goalies learn to trust their net. So we want to make sure as our goalie can slide into their to their net and the, and the net not move. All right, so we have a solid net here. And probably more importantly than that, not only sliding into the net with a lot of power, anchoring their leg with this uh, anchor, um, anchor blade, but is also being able to push off the ice. So if I'm here, I should be able to push off the ice without my net moving, all right? And again, power into that post without my net moving. Now again, you might think, well, what's the big deal there? Well, watch this real quick demonstration. If our goaltenders are, let's say they're in the RVH, okay? So it looks something like this, all right? If they don't have a net that they can trust, if their net comes off, and maybe we'll show you in a second, but they're gonna have to, they're gonna default to getting power from the ice instead of the net, okay? So if I get power from the net, it's in one motion, I can push and seal the bottom of the ice. Notice I don't have to open up any holes. But if I don't trust this net, I actually have to add a bunch of steps, okay? So if I don't trust the net and I'm gonna push off the ice instead, I have to first set my, my far leg down. I have to lift my near side leg up, which of course opens this five hole. And then I have to push, push off the ice and reseal my five hole. You know, if we were to count those steps, it might be something like, right? One, two, three, and then seal being four. Where if I can trust this net, I can trust that it's pegged well, I can just go from here and maybe in one step and seal maybe two, we're gonna cut those steps in half. So super important, once again, that we're able to peg the net. Second piece, and probably equally as important, is that we draw a crease for our nets. All right, so um, all I did was grab a, a marker. There's a, several different brands of, of a wide tip marker that you can find online. Um, we'll maybe share those links with you. We've got um, six feet of, uh, of string here. Actually, 7.2 feet long. And then I've got a carabiner that I tied onto the other end, okay? So just your typical carabiner. So you're gonna hook it to the uh, top of the net here, probably inside the crossbar. Hook that carabiner to the top of the net. We're gonna extend that rope out, okay, to its uh, full length. And then just strike an arc, which should be consistent all the way around the crease, right? I don't think I have to go into too much detail as to why a crease is important for goalies, especially if we're not in the typical location of the net. So once again, goalies, if we're on our post, we can kind of see out of our peripheral where our location is, where our depth's at, okay? And we just have a little bit better idea of the positioning of the game, which we know is so important. Those are the two tips that I think would be super important for us all to um, commit to this season starting right away. Number one, peg those uh, nets every single time. And then number two, with uh, your um, do-it-yourself marker, 
We got a hockey lace and a carabiner, or there's a brand called Easy Crease that has a retractable um, cable as well. They're great, but something as simple as this can make a lot of difference for our goal.